God the Maker, God of play and beauty, you love us and delight in us. God the Lover, God of tears and laughter, you love us and delight in us. God the Truth Teller, God of hope and adventure, you love us and delight in us. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, everything inside me wants to jump for joy. In the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Of Christ. Well, good morning, this is Bishop Jill, and I'm delighted to be with you uh, by the power of technology for your very special service to celebrate 275 years of Holy Trinity Morecambe. It's almost exactly a year since I came to license uh, your vicar, Chris Kravich, and it's been a very busy year. I mean, look at this. This is the... Um, this is a file of complaints I've received since he was made vicar. Um, no, only joking. Um, I am delighted um, to be with you at this moment. And uh, let us pray as we um, uh, look at these passages, but also call down the Spirit of God for your next 275 years. So come down, O most powerful Holy Spirit, and subdue us from heaven where the ordinary is made glorious and glory is but ordinary. Would you open our eyes to see the wonderful truths in your word? And would you bathe us with the brilliance of your light, like dew? Amen. Well, as I understand it, uh, today's a special day where you, uh, not just celebrating your 275 year anniversary, but you're also launching a year of prayer that gets many, many points in my book, where you're looking to the future. What is God calling you to in these next years, but also drawing on the past? And I think you have deep, deep wells of spiritual inheritance to draw on because you were the first church planted out of Lancaster Priory by local blacksmith Francis Bowes, who built the local school and left money in his will so that people shouldn't have to go to Lancaster to go to church. People shouldn't have to go to Lancaster to go to church. I'm just underlining that because I think that's very significant for your story um, going forward. Jesus' last words at the end of our gospel reading today with this, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, therefore go. And in short, my words for you this morning are, you're of age, take your authority as a church and go. Go with the authority that Jesus has already given you. Authority for what? Well, let's just pan out um, and uh, take a bit more review of the horizon. I, I, I love our Old Testament reading, which talks about um, that even those who are tired and uh, younger are tired and weary, but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength and they will rise on wings like eagles. And um, my prayer for this middle bit of my, what I've got to say is that we will rise on wings like eagles, that we will tune in to the heart 
of God. Uh, cast our eyes to that bigger vision. I, I kind of envy you being by the sea so that you can see that distant horizon. And I think at this time, um, uh, we're at a unique moment in history, aren't we? There's never been um, a global pandemic, has there? Um, there's never been a time in history, Old Testament, New Testament, where the world has kind of come to a, a stop in many ways. And this seems to me to be creating a unique time. And people are hearing God in different ways, in fresh ways. And I think he's saying three things. And he's saying, wake up, turn around and come home. Wake up, turn around and come home. I'll just um, unpack those words briefly. So wake up, it seems like the spiritual airwaves are, um, are more open. It's like there's less noise, less background noise. Not just because there's less traffic or, um, or not rushing around quite so much, but it's like people are hearing from God in new ways, in, in, in more um, alive ways. Um, people are reaching out in prayer. People are Googling prayer. I don't know if you've seen the um, uh, Russell Brand's video where he talks about why the hell are people Googling prayer. It's worth watching. But, you know, just in our news feed... Um, I mean, selfishness is is antisocially um, unaccept is is un socially unacceptable. Captain Tom's our hero. Football teams are talking about God. Prince William of the weekend talked about the mental health benefits of being a Christian. Um, uh, just open your open your newsfeed and you'll see it. And I think people are waking up to the big questions in life. Um, partly because people are facing death without an answer and um, I've had beautiful conversations with, um, with with friends who are kind of meeting Jesus. So I think there's God saying wake up, I think it's a waking up. There's, a, there's also a, a saying sort of turn around, have a reset, have a new start. Um, don't, again if you've noticed that in our culture there's a sense of wanting to have a reboot, a restart, um, start things afresh, um, pay more attention to our relationships, pay more attention to the poor people in the community. Um, I love the story that hit the Lancaster um, newspapers about the circus in Morecambe that was stranded and how people were helping with food and uh, all sorts of parcels. If you haven't seen it, um, please look it up. I thought what a beautiful, um, uh, what a beautiful um, testimony to you. So I think there's a bit of a reset going on and how people are thinking about their lives, thinking about their priorities, um, um, thinking about re what really matters. And I think the third thing God's saying is, come home. I think he's calling out to his beloved sons and daughters to come home. I don't know if you've noticed that in, 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 in our advertising, and our media. It's a very, very strong message, isn't it? Ikea, so you a happy life at home. There was queues, wasn't there, on the block when IKEA opened the other day? Um, the um, right moves sell you your, sell you your happier life at home, and there's quite a strong message, isn't there, in the Gospels that God is like a father who's missing his children and he's longing for them to come back home. I don't know if you've ever lost a child. I hope for, I hope you haven't for real. Um, I lost my toddler for uh, twenty minutes, and the agony. It's, it's incredible. And that's how the Bible says that people are, that's how God feels in, the, in his heart. It's like he's missing people and he's longing for them to come home. And we can think, well, he's got, he surely knows where they are. But that's why we need the Bible, because he is missing people and he's longing for them to come back home. And maybe even as you're watching this this morning, you're sensing like a dislocation, a longing in your heart to come home and I would say just just turn around and have a reset and you will find that the father God who who made you before the dawn of time he's running out to meet you and he's longing for you to come home and uh, we can pray kind of a simple prayer at the end of this talk to um to say to yet say us to clinch the deal but as a church community as a church family in Morecambe I think, what the authority for what? I think he's giving you his authority to welcome his beloved sons and daughters home. To be the doorstep, to be the gateway of heaven. There's a lovely image in 
some of the Lord of the Rings uh, films or the books really where the heaven is always depicted as being just across the sea and I think that's perhaps a special word for you in Morecambe is is you're, you're near heaven and do you remember we said at the beginning you, you were founded so that people shouldn't have to go to Lancaster to go to church and I think as we, we enter this new season how beautiful that you're, you're, you're praying to start this off but as we enter this new season post-Covid, I'm incredibly hopeful because I think maybe it's worth thinking, what are the barriers for people to come to church? And it's like the Spirit of God has been breaking down those barriers, whether that's with online services. Um, uh, people can sneak in a little bit more easily and come and, come and see things um, without quite the commitment. Maybe there's different languages. Um, uh, in our, um, we had a beautiful service the other day in Urdu and Punjabi, and um, that, 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 that seemed to get into BBC Lancashire Radio. It's worth um, looking out for that one. But in, in Morecambe, I, I think people want to meet other people who speak the same language as them. And sometimes in church, we can speak one language, one particular language. But the Spirit of God on Pentecost, he gave us all sorts of languages so that people could encounter Jesus and hear, hear about him in their own way. And so here's my challenge um, to you as Bishop of Lancaster for your 275th anniversary, is why don't you start new congregations, uh, start new doors, start new ways in to welcome those sons and daughters who are missing. Open new doors to welcome them back home. He will show you who those missing people are. You may already know who they are. Maybe you feel a tug of your heart strings for teenagers who are missing or children or particularly men. Men often don't find their way into church very easily. Um, women of a certain age, um, although don't, you know, don't count people out. Don't say, oh, they're too old, they're too young. Jesus isn't, doesn't count anybody out. Because you were founded so that people didn't have to go to Lancaster to go to church. You were founded so that people didn't have to trek miles to go to church. And I think in your time, Jesus has founded you and is reopening those deep wells so that the crossing of the threshold becomes easy. That doors fling open. People come in and hear the, hear, hear the good news in their own languages. I think he's given you lots of good uh, languages to speak, to encounter. And I think your vicar has got quite a lot of those languages himself. And I'm praying that in this next season, there's a release of him and his tongue, his tongue and his gifts. I spent a beautiful time on mission with him in York. Um, and he can speak incredibly in pubs. It is unbelievable. It is gold dust. And if he's not released into pubs to speak and to use his comedy to relate and connect with men, then we're missing a massive, massive trick. And I'll be sending you a file of complaints. So watch out. There we are. So um, may your wings be unfurled. Like, the, like our Old Testament reading, may your wings be unclipped to soar across his big horizon. And that same calling you had, so people um, didn't have to go to Lancaster to go to, church, to go to church, may Jesus do this again in our time. He has given you authority to open many, many doors so that people can come home from the choppy seas of life, safe at last. So dear family, Holy Trinity Morecambe, on your 20, 275th anniversary, may you be a wide open door for many, many people to come home from the storm, from the sea, to hear the fire of his heart safe at last. Amen. Let's pray together. I firstly want to pray for some of you who have a sense of a tug on your heartstrings to come home to Jesus. There's something in perhaps the words or this service that have said, I just want to come home. And may you turn around in this moment now and say yes to Jesus and hear, feel his arms welcoming you home. No more questions asked. Maybe as I've been praying, that, uh, speaking that there's people 
on your heart in a community who you think, I just long for them to come back home. And you think of all the impossible reasons. It can't, we couldn't possibly build a church in Morecambe. It couldn't possibly. No, God does the impossible. And I pray that he will release, he will give you keys to open doors to see pe many people come home. And I pray for you as well, that on this 275th anniversary, there will be an anointing of heaven on you as a church community. That as Tolkien might have said that heaven is just over the sea. And Holy Trinity Morecambe, the St. Lawrence says, may you be the gateway to heaven. May you call heaven to earth in this season. And I ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, who rescued people from hell and is now seated in the heavens and one day will welcome us home. Amen. We come boldly to the throne of grace, praying to the Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit for mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Father of heaven, whose love profound a ransom for our souls has found, we pray for the world created by your love for its nations and governments. Extend to them your peace, pardoning, love, mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Almighty Son, incarnate word, our prophet, priest, redeemer, Lord. We pray for the church, created for your glory, for its ministry to reflect those works of yours. Extend to us your salvation, growth, mercy and grace. 
we plead before your throne in heaven. Eternal Spirit, by whose breath the soul is raised from sin and death, we pray for families and individuals created in your image, for the lonely, the bereaved, the sick and the dying. Breathe on them the breath of life and bring them to your mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Thrice holy Father, Spirit, Son, mysterious Godhead, three in one. We pray for ourselves, for your church, for all whom we remember before you. Bring us all to bow before your throne in heaven, to receive life and pardon, mercy and grace for all eternity, as we worship you, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you all.